the first time that I've, I've ever rang a church bell. That's the first time I ever had. It's for, for both of us. I would like to have both of you for Thank a city, you. especially. Yeah, we we love it. It's, it's really awesome. And it was uh, blood, sweat, and tears is what built these, these little towns. And these little towns are what made the bigger towns. And uh, this is absolutely an amazing structure. Well, we're just welcome you so much. Like the church, as I told you, was from 1886, built in 1886, and it's still in the most marvelous condition. It is. It's just beautiful. And our little town, we just love Forest City. We have so many things we'd love to have you see. I hope you can spend enough time to at least get a glimpse of them and maybe come back someday and, and really get yes. a look at yeah. everything. Oh, we do plan on coming back up here. Oh, great. We, we do have to make another trip up here in the fall so we can see, uh, you know, some of the older structures is out in uh, the old, there in the summertime, they're you can't see them yeah. because of the overgrowth. And we're, we're planning on coming back up here and, uh, you know, it probably, uh, it would probably most likely be in the spring of uh, next year. Okay, well, after you get to see the different exhibits that we have out at this time, then there'll be something else out probably when you come back the next time because we'd okay. like to, to keep some things permanent yes. and we'd like to rotate some things. <clears throat> and then downstairs, if you had a whole lot of time and you're interested particularly, let's say, for example, coal mining, I would have a big, thick binder on nothing but coal mining. And if you're interested in churches, I have big things about churches. If you're interested in uh, how Forest City used to look a long time ago, mm -hmm. you could sit for hours just going through those kinds of things. You know, if you want to look. Now, speaking of churches, you mentioned earlier that uh, Forest City had a lot of churches here. Yes. You know how many churches they had? We, at one time? we had ten churches. We had actually nine church buildings, which you're going to see when you come up in the front. I have pictures of the nine buildings, and the reason I say ten churches is because one of those buildings started out as a Baptist church and then later on became a Catholic church. So there were actually 10 churches, but mm -hmm. nine buildings. And what is the population here in, in Forest City, roughly? What is we're it barely hitting 1,800 right 1800. now. But at one time, in the coal mining days, we had 6,000. Okay, so and Forest, City, Forest City is a mining town. A mining town. Okay. We actually started, uh, when you come up there in the front after a while, I'm gonna show you like the founders that we had. It was actually founded because of Lumbering, okay. so lumber mills. And, and another thing, and then uh, the mines and the coal was discovered later. Okay. Another thing too about Forest City is this is the northernest most part where they mined anthracite coal. Yes. And we're right. We're how, how far are we from the New York border? Oh, let's see. How far from the New York border? Probably no more than sixty miles, right? Oh. Oh, okay, so that, that's how far up north. Now, where we live down in, uh, we live in, uh, near Hershey and in, in southern Dauphin County, that is the southernmost area that they uh, they mined anthracite. And uh, from the Alleghenies over to Jersey in that area, roughly, is uh, the anthracite area is just absolutely huge. 95% of the world's coal, anthracite coal, is under Pennsylvania in this region. Now, one of the things, so when you come up in the front later on and you get to see the pictures of the coal breakers and things that we had here, is very uh, uh, remarkable. Yeah. And the only remains that we have now of the coal breakers themselves, if you wanted to go later on, I would tell you where the location is. We do have the, the uh, 1919 foundation where the coal, okay. coal breaker was. They're very fascinating. But they were very, very big things and they were really... Remarkable. When did, uh, do you know the dates of when mining started here, when it finished? Uh, yeah, we were talking about like, like roughly 1898-ish okay. would be the time. And then when my grandfather was a boy, he was one of those breaker boys that everybody has yes. heard about. How the yeah. poor little boys had to go, weren't mm -hmm. allowed to go to school anymore. You had to go how, help support the family. Do you know how old he was when he started? Yeah, he was, I actually have a picture up there that he wrote on the back that he started on November the 8th, 1912. That would have put him at 12 years old. That, that's very. And he worked there, and then he also wrote on the back of that that there were 1,200 coal cars, and mm. every nine-hour shift that left Forest City, 1,200 coal cars. That's a lot. And each coal car held about two or three tons of coal. Okay. That's a lot. Of so you're talking about a lot of coal that was mined yeah. every single day here. And yeah. mostly between those two breakers, the one at the one in town, one at the other in town. When was uh, when was Forest City uh, uh, founded? 1864. 1864. Mm -hmm. About 100 years before I was born. There you go. And, uh, we had a big celebration. A at the really time. beautiful little town. I encourage people to visit these little towns up here at Anwa. Uh, yeah. 171 sa uh, south of uh, Lanesboro, Pennsylvania. A mining towns, just very fascinating. These little towns, as I said, I just uh, I repeat myself a lot. Very fascinating these little towns because 
you know, they, they made Pennsylvania and still today, uh, mining, uh, mining happens here in Pennsylvania. They consider Forest City as about one mile long, and so our motto is a mile of hospitality. A mile of hospitality. And so I'd like to welcome both of you, especially. Thank you very much. And it's, it's a pleasure. Mm -hmm. Pleasure. Uh,